Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Linux Tutions, and we are continuing our web series AWS for Developers. Obviously, this web series it, uh, need to be focused on AWS, but I suggest I I, I think that uh, this is the most important components for a developer to understand and to learn how we can how they can use it. So uh, we set up environments, but the main factor how we gonna monitor. We set up our application on maybe Beanstalk, ECS, or whatever, or wherever. But the matter of fact, how we're gonna monitor? We have several options. Either we could use CloudWatch or we could use different observability tools. The benefit of having observability tool like Alkistack is it gives you more option and more control to get the data from your application. Alkistag is a combination of Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. So these are the three components of Alkistag. And combination of this stack gives you a more powerful visualization of your application performance and matrices data. Alkistag collects data with three methods. It collects data from Beats, it collects data from Syslog and Client App. There are other ways you can collect, send data to Alkistack as well. So the, this, these are three basic uh, ways to collect the data. So when we collect data, so imagine uh, our beats or maybe syslog or client app send a data of 15 fields in the message. So you can say uh, our message contains 15 fields. But for our uh, observability perspective, we only require three fields. So we have log stash that actually filter out unnecessary data from the log message and send the specific data to Elasticsearch. From there, Kibana gets the data from Elasticsearch and creates some visualization. So that's how Alkistag works. So uh, this, I hope uh, this gives you a better visibility of Alkistag internals. Now it's time to jump in to the real hands-on. Well, we are going to set up Elasticsearch separately and Logstash and Kibana on the single instance. And we have a third instance on which we're gonna set up our Apache servers from where we will be collecting the logs. So let's set up the Elastic first, uh, Elasticsearch first. So this is our uh, Elasticsearch machine. But first, we can call that uh, host name, host name CDL, set dash host name, Elastic. Now it is bash. So we are in Elastic instance. Now I already uh, draw a document which I can use to copy paste to save my time. So this is the document I'm gonna post in the description. So first we need to install the Java. So first we need to update. Sorry. Once the update is done, the repository metadata is updated, then we need to install the Java package. So let's understand, uh, install the Java. Once the Java is installed, then we will need to install the R2 Elasticsearch GPG keys and Elasticsearch repository. We need to add it. So once the Java installation is done, we can just add the GP, GPG keys of Elasticsearch repository. So while Java is installed, we need to add the GPG keys. So this is the important package uh, we need to install uh, before we install the Elasticsearch binaries. So uh, in this tutorial, uh, we are going to use uh, Elasticsearch version 7. Uh, so we added the Elasticsearch binaries. Let's see.
So this will install Elasticsearch on our machine. Then we need to configure our Elasticsearch instance. So there are several uh, there are several configuration we need to do. So first we need to open a Elasticsearch configuration file. So this is our configuration file. If you if you wanted to enable the cluster, so uh, you, uh, th there is a separate video tutorial for Elasticsearch setup. So you can go uh, go through with this uh, that tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be configuring a specific uh, options related to Elkistack. So first we need to enable the network host. And uh, uh, since our Elasticsearch uh, is on a separate instance, so we could not give uh, the localhost IP. So we should need to list, uh, we should want to uh, listen our Elasticsearch instance on its private IP. And then we need to enable the host port, HTTP port as well. So since uh, we are not setting up uh, SSL on it, so we are just leaving it with the default setting. So uh, we are just restarting the Elasticsearch to take these settings in effect. Once the Elasticsearch is started, we can check the logs of Elasticsearch. It says, okay, uh, one more option we need to add, discovery.type. Uh, we we must need to enable the discovery uh, in our Elasticsearch configuration. So option should be discovery dot type uh, colon single dash node. So since our we are not using the cluster, so we can say start with the single node. Elasticsearch take a small time to get it started. So let's see the logs of Elasticsearch. We are log, Elasticsearch, Elasticsearch.log. So it's in the cluster is started. We can check it as a HTTP tool forward forward slash and the IP of the Elasticsearch instance is 0.28.11. Than so you can see our cluster is up and running. Uh, we are done from this server. Now we need to go to Logstash and Kibana instance. And now we need to install the Logstash and Kibana separately. So we are on the Logstash and Kibana instance. So let's jump to the root. Then we need to add the Java first because uh, we are going to install uh, both. Uh, let's do the update first. I forgot to update the binaries because it requires Java to be installed. So let's install first Java on this instance because uh, log extension Kibana also requires Java to be installed. Then, since uh, these packages are maintained by Elasticsearch Co, so we will gonna add the repository. Now we need to add the GPG keys. Uh, this is the package that actually support the requires by APT to add GPG keys. Now we have added the Elasticsearch repository since so we are gonna use the Kibana and everything from the same repository. And we would like to use the same version that's why now 
uh, first we will install the Kibana. Once the Kibana is up and running, then we will install the Logistash as well. Logistash is specifically for, for the data transformation. So we will be putting in between the client and the Alka stack. You can say uh, Logistash is the communicator or mediator between the clients and Alka stack. It refines and reform the data in the required form and push that data into Elasticsearch. Now we need to configure the Kibana. So in the Kibana, we need to since uh, we need to enable the Kibana on out of on, on the public IP or the private IP. So we need to configure the Kibana host and IP addresses, and we also need to supply the Elasticsearch host as well. So first, let's jump to the line number one. So this is the server port for Kibana. We need to enable, and this is the server host. We need to change it to on the local IP or, or the IP from which we would like to access the Kibana. So in your case, we will be using the private IP. Uh, we don't need to change any other options except the Elasticsearch IP. So this is the option we need to enable in Kibana. And we need to supply the Kibana Elasticsearch IP in the Kibana configuration. So uh, instead of local host, since our Elasticsearch is running on the separate instance, uh, that's why we are giving the direct IP over if your Elasticsearch is running on the same instance, you don't need to. So once this configuration is done, you can save the file and start the Kibana. Kibana is a stop at the moment. So let's just start it quickly. Let's see the status. Let's see the Java process. So that's five seven. Clap Java. is up and running so let's access kibana ui the code is 5601 elasticsearch ui is coming up now we need to set up the log stash so we already have all the steps written so we don't need to uh, this is the pipeline sample we only need to install the log stash binaries using apt Now we need to create a Logistash pipeline file. Logistash has its pipelines or data pipelines under the etc logistash.d. We need to create our configuration that actually collects the data. So let's do that. Uh, once the installation is done, so our installation is done. So let's navigate to Logistash directly. So if you see, you will find some sample configuration. Now we need to create a sample Apache configuration file. In this configuration, let's understand what we are doing at the moment. So this configuration. Uh, will collect data from file beat and it starts the log stash instance on 574 port. It will collect all the messages and it applies the filter grok filter on it and it matches the messages and combine Apache log. And then it will send the output to our Elasticsearch instance. So let's change the IP of Elasticsearch instance. So 
our love this is our love stash configuration that actually sends data to our elastic search so this is done uh, this is our sample configuration if you need to see more configuration so you can go to this url and you can find a lot of example for your data pipelines for apache and other uh, tools as well so you, you can play around with all those like collecting data, uh, data from file collecting data and, and make them filter and lots of things you can do so uh, this link will be given in the description so let's move back to our instance and let's start it start CDL beside us stash Sorry. So, one stash is down at the moment. We just need to start it. Let's see the status. Now, the stash is running. Uh, and now we need to see the logs first. The tails with log. Log stash. Once the log study is start, we will start seeing the file as well. So you can see our service is already started. Now the th let's go to the third instance, which is our client. So Apache instance is our client instance in which we will install the Apache 2 first. And then we will collect the data, logs data to FileBeat and we will send that data into Elasticsearch via Logstash. Let's see, since we need to install Apache 2 on it, It will go down soon so yeah this is done now uh, we need to install the apache apache 2 package it will take 8 mb we don't need to do any kind of changes in it since uh, we are not configuring any website it's just a sample web server to see how the data being collected so over server is ready web server is ready let's see yeah our web server is ready now we need to install the file bit so we have steps written for file bit uh since we are using 7.17.6 uh, so we will download uh the package that actually has the same version so we'll be using file bit version and now we need to install it using the pkg space minus i oops sorry it's a metric bit uh we need to install the file bit for we will see later how we can install so it will install our file with package so it's done. Now we need to configure our file bit to collect data also and send data. Let's see uh, the log file. At the moment, we are just copying or we will be collecting uh, logs from here. So first we need to go to our file bit file, file bit configuration file actually filebit.yaml in this we need to change some values the first value we need to change is the log collection location from where filebit will see the logs so this is done next thing we need to set our output configuration so first uh, we need to 
turn off the Elasticsearch output. And we need to enable the log station now. So this is something we need to do. So uh, this and uh, we need to give the correct uh, log stash IP as well. So we, we did not provide the correct IP. Log stash is running on Kibana instance. So we need to supply the private IP. If your Kibana is running or maybe the inst uh, Elasticsearch instance is running separate IP. So this is we are done with. Now we need to set up uh, the index management for file beat. So this should be loaded once from the instance each time. So uh, here we need to supply the Elasticsearch instance IP. I'll be posting everything uh, on the description. So you don't need to worry about how these command can be get. So it will be very easy. That creates uh, an index on the elastic search. So now we need to enable the module, file with module. So file with module is enabled. We are also enable, enabling the Apache module as well. Since we are using two modules, now let's restart the file bit. File if we file bit is restarted, then now well, we can test our file bit configuration using file bit test output. So it will check all the all the output configuration and everything. Uh, so you can see uh, it uh, it it is easily con uh, connecting to our log stash instance. So let's. Uh, Go back to our Elasticsearch instance. Uh, click on the export of my own. So, click on the discover. Now, we need to create an index pattern. From where we can collect the data. So, just see. And that is how we can collect the uh, create an index in our Elasticsearch. If we click on the discover, so you can see the data is flowing in Elasticsearch. So you can see the data and the logs from here. If you expand that uh, data and you can see the message and everything in the individual field, like what is the host type, what is the host platform, uh, what is the host name, host IP. So you, you will get everything, every required information in this message. So I hope you like this video. I know it's a pretty long video. If you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe, share our videos as well. So that actually help us to grow more content. So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. If you like this video or you think we can improve, so tell us in the comment how we can improve this video. Thank you for watching.